I'm now going to look at the style sheet because um, I may ch decide that green isn't a very nice colour or blue, red and so on and I can change the style of the font and so on and so forth. So going back into Notepad++ I'm going to go onto my style sheet and if I look down here I can pick up the style that I'm using on the text and you can see at the minute the colour is defaulting to black so in fact I'm going to just change this and I'm going to well, just to be tidy I'm going to put it in background colour yellow that was for the text I'm going to put colour uh, let's just put white for now see if that even shows up once again I need to save it go back onto my page and refresh the page well, it's not great because I can hardly see that on the white page so let's let's think about um, we'll maybe make this white the background color white and let's make the color blue uh, back onto here refresh the page that's actually quite nice with the blue background there and I'm inclined to turn this part blue as well just to be a bit more consistent about the whole page so I need to find this section on the page and see where it is in the style sheet so it says computer systems information page so I'll go on to the actual web page itself and here are those words and it's in this section of the page called that I've called header it's a class that I've called header class of objects so let's go into my style sheet. Let's see if I can. Look. There's my header here, and at the moment the background colour is red, so I'm going to change that to blue. Save that. Refresh the page. So it's starting to look quite professional. Right now I'm going to put on um, the second uh, piece of information. So I'll go onto my Word document. And this is the little bit that I want to use here. So I'm going to copy that and go into my text editor and onto the actual page. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit using the control and zoom so that you can see the structure of the page. So you can see that there's my header. And then I've got some content on the page. And the content consists of an image and a piece of text. And we use this indentation so that you can see that's inside content. So I'm looking for the second piece of content. So I'll go down here. And here it is. I've got image, text. So I'm going to drop that text into that section. And once again, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Just click in there, just so I can see all the text. And then I think I'm going to use the same sort of idea, just to keep the style consistent. And maybe not two of those. Just to break up the lines a little bit. So I've saved that. In fact, I'm just going to indent that so that I can see this division of text and the indentation helps me to see just clearly what's inside that text tag. So I'll save that and onto my page, refresh the page. And now I've got the second piece of text. I've got something funny going on here. So let's see what that is. Looks like a dash. Maybe I'll just go and put brackets around, around it. Just see if I'm allowed brackets. Let's see what that does. Oh, I'm allowed brackets. Otherwise, I'd probably go back to these HTML entities that I found and just see. Um, what I would have to put in for a dash. Right, so I've got that and it occurs to me that it would look quite good if the image was here 
and the text was here. And then on the second part of the page, the text was here and then the image was there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the image. Let's scroll in so that you can see. I'm using the control key and scrolling in. I'm just going to cut that, control X, and I'm going to drop that in so it comes after the text. And then whatever image I put in there will be on the right hand side of the text. But you can see that it's still within the content, the second piece of content. So let's check that it's saved. Go back onto here. Refresh and we should see those switch places.